Next question is from GD Penna. You've all talked about how stretching as a form of working out is ineffective or even detrimental, but exercises like the pigeon pose seem kind of like a stretch. What differentiates priming movements like these from stretches? Did we not address? Did we? I thought I addressed this maybe on the on the question on the webinar. Oh, is that where or yeah. the IG? Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody said this. I'm like, no. Oh, you're right. That was on the webinar. Yeah, somebody it was. This up. So what make? Okay, so uh, what different? Okay, let me put it this way. I'll give you an analogy. Right, uh, Justin gives me five dollars, or I take five dollars from him. What differentiates one being theft versus one being him giving me the money? All about the intention. Same thing with. Uh, priming movements. Pigeon stretch would be me getting into pigeon pose and just relaxing, relaxing into it. and yeah. allowing the muscles to stretch. By the way, there's nothing wrong with static stretching if it's done properly. There's actually That actually could be a part of a good mobility practice. Well, it's programmed in the end of prime, right? That's so right. That we program static stretching. It's what's been done wrong with static stretching for so long and the studies are conclusive on this, and we know now that we and we weren't doing this before. Yet we still have trainers that aren't privy to this, and that's static stretching before you go into weight training is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. That's not a good idea. But that doesn't mean that static stretching is bad. It just means that's not the place to do it before you're about to go in and lift heavy weight. The last thing you want to do is relax all of your muscles in a static stretch. Right. Used simply doing it actively, like in a, a mobility move, is different. You're not relaxing. You're not relaxing the muscle. You're active. It. Right, it's the right. whole like active versus passive, uh, you know, parasympathetic versus sympathetic. Like, what state are you trying to place your body into? And like, if you're going into uh, like a workout, you want to be able to wake everything up. And so th this priming uh, type of, of stretch is really trying to activate everything and really get your body to be familiar okay. with that position, but also have strength to manipulate uh, your body out of that position, to, to be firm in that position. And so really being able to recruit muscles while in these certain poses is everything. Right. So if you're confused, I'm going to try and make it uh, as simple as possible. So intention is what makes something priming versus just a static stretch. Okay. So here's what it looks like when you're doing pigeon pose and you're doing a static stretch, you're just sitting there and allowing things to stretch and you're relaxing in the pose. What makes it priming? You're in the same pose. Here's the difference. When you're in that pose, you pull your legs up like you're trying to go deeper, but you're pulling your legs up by activating the muscles. And then you do that for five seconds and then you push them down like you're trying to push yourself out of the pose. And you do that for five seconds and you can repeat that for sets. The difference is I'm sucking myself in the stretch and I'm pushing myself out of the stretch. Yeah. I'm You're activating doing something. I'm activating the shortened muscles and I'm activating the lengthened muscles. I'm literally tensing both sides for reps and that's the difference between priming and static. Now what's the difference in the way it works the body? Priming is activating those muscles. It's connecting my central nervous system to them in different ranges of motion. Static stretching is literally trying to turn off my central nervous system, getting it to chill out so I can achieve a greater range of motion. Mm -hmm. Static stretching is great post-workout. Priming is awesome before your workout. That's the big difference. And if you prime before your workout, you have improved performance, better muscle activation. You can hit lagging body parts better, better mobility, and better stability and control. If you do static stretching at the end of your workout, you improve recovery, improve Passive ranges of motion, you get the CNS to calm down so things can recover a little faster. So that's the big difference. Now, if you're not uh, educated on that and you just see someone, they look a little different. But if you don't know the difference, you might think, what's the difference? Why they look exactly the same? It's intention. Intention makes them very, very different how the body responds. And both these, all of these, including foam rolling, are all included in MAPS Prime. And we and we program it to teach you how to, you should do this yourself. And that's the idea of every program that we've done is not only to take you through this stuff, but also teach you like how yeah. you would do this for yourself. Apply the concepts the right way.